Well, switching gears here to the weather, starting with some uh, soon to be breaking news. This was just issued by the uh, Storm Prediction Center up in Norman, Oklahoma, put out a, a mesoscale discussion here, uh, circling pretty much our entire area, giving us a 95% chance that there will be a severe thunderstorm watch issued and uh, it's pretty likely and probably will be issued here in a matter of minutes. So severe thunderstorm watch is about to be issued shortly for our entire area. That will include both Abilene and San Angelo. Latest updates after the show here on our Fox West Texas Facebook page, and we'll keep you updated as these storms develop. Nothing out there right now. Temperatures, it's warm. 72 San Angelo, 70 in Ballinger, 73 right now in Robert Lee. We're tracking this dry line. Been talking about that earlier in the show. Humid, moist air off to the east, dew points in the 50s to low 60s, lots of moisture for those thunderstorms, very dry air off towards the Permian Basin, those dew points around, right around 0 to 10 in uh, Midland, Odessa right now. So uh, where you see that uh, little squiggly line right here, that is the dry line, and that's where we expect those showers and thunderstorms to develop over the next few hours and uh, pretty much right over our area here in San Angelo and Abilene. Satellite and radar not seeing much right now. Starting to see some radar returns though just to the east of Midland Odessa, east of Crane. This is some of that development that will begin and really pick up really over the next one to two hours as we zoom out. It's all associated with this low pressure system in uh, central New Mexico. We have a severe thunderstorm watch already issued for Oklahoma up into Texas Panhandle and southern Kansas. Already see multiple severe thunderstorm warnings here north of Amarillo up towards uh, Woodward, Oklahoma and just to the south of Elk City. So already starting to see some thunderstorm development off to the north. More increased activity expected here in our local area, like I said, over the next one to two hours. So satellite and radar starting to see that line develop off to the west. It will initiate between about 11 p.m. and the midnight hour. We'll start to see a little bit more activity up towards Colorado City, up towards Stanford, just to the southwest of San Angelo. This will pick up in intensity, really pick up between about midnight and 2 a.m. That's the sweet spot. That's when we can expect some large hail and damaging winds that will push on off to the east. This is 3 a.m. moving into our eastern areas. By about 4 to 5, clearing things out, we'll see lots of sunshine tomorrow across West Texas, but it's going to be windy, and we're going to see some blowing dust out there. More on that in a second. Severe weather risk, like I said, a level 2 out of 5 slight risk issued for most of our area, and that threat timing is going to be about, right about 11 p.m. to about 3 a.m. Damaging winds, large hail up through about golf ball, maybe even some tennis ball size hail and some of the stronger storms. That's the main threat. Tornado risk, it is low but it's not zero. We may see a few tornadoes, so stay with us on our Fox West Texas Facebook page. Over the next several hours, we'll update you on any watches and warnings that we see across our local area. And like I said, a severe thunderstorm watch will likely be issued in a matter of minutes for, our, uh, for both Abilene and San Angelo. Tomorrow, severe risk not here in West Texas. Moves off to the east, but that's a level four out of five. That's a moderate risk for a good portion of the, south, of the uh, deep south, including Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and southwestern Tennessee. This is likely going to be upgraded to a category five, or not category five, but a level five. That is a high risk. Does not happen very often. Tornado outbreak likely in the deep south tomorrow. So if you have family and friends in that area, let them know. Make sure they uh, stay weather aware throughout the day tomorrow, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. Likely multiple large and intense tornadoes in the deep south. Let's talk about our local area after the storms tonight. It's sunny tomorrow, but it is very windy. West winds turning northwest 25 to 35 miles an hour. Would not be surprised actually expecting those gusts to uh, be 40 plus miles an hour. That will bring some of that uh, far west Texas dust into our local area. So blowing dust expected during the day tomorrow. It's going to be sunny. You may not really see much of that sunshine because of that dust being blown around across the area. That is why a wind advisory is in effect for our entire area tomorrow afternoon. So uh, tomorrow morning into the afternoon and evening hours, that wind advisory is in effect. Temperatures tomorrow, mid 60s up to the north, upper 60s to low 70s here in the Concho Valley. Full look at seven day forecast. We're dry for the rest of the week after those severe thunderstorm chances overnight. Like I said, stay with us on our Fox West Texas Facebook page for the latest information. Next storm chance comes next Monday. Spring is here. We'll keep you updated on any development overnight. Much more coming up after the break.